I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand the meaning of upper and lower bound and we'll try to figure out how to find these values for different physical quantities right the question here is write the upper and lower bound for each of the following first one we have the mass of 72 kgs second is length 540 miles third one is time 10.2 seconds and then we have velocity of 3.45 meters per second now in four examples we have also given something in brackets now whenever we are measuring physical quantities you can never find exact values so the measurement is limited by the instrument we use and by the skills which we have to measure okay so our own skills play a big role in measurements so normally they are rounded to some value so in this case mass of 72 kg is rounded to nearest integer or you can say a whole number 72 kg so that means uh, it's a kind of a rounding right so 72.1 72.2 72.3 all will be grouped together as 72 kg correct length of 540 miles is rounded to nearest tens right 5 5 40 right nearest tens seconds is rounded to one decimal place we have 10.2 seconds one decimal place at times we may write this as three significant places also one two three which i've written for velocity velocity of 3.45 meters per second it is rounded to three significant places so that is uh, three significant places so one two three like this correct so that is in this case hundredth okay so that is three this is also three significant places one zero one two and three right so that is also three significant places now let us see how to write their upper and lower bounds so we have different nomenclatures we use brackets kind of like this we use this brackets right so this is one way of doing the other way is we are using inequalities we kind of use uh, inequalities kind of like this okay so these are two different ways uh, third of course or we can always write uh, lower bound and upper bound is it okay so so these are different nomenclatures so we'll use these nomenclatures to write down and understand why we sometimes have a closed bracket and sometimes open bracket okay so let's look into the very first one which is 72 kg that's the mass rounded to nearest integer now how to get lower bound and upper bound the key is when we are rounding to a whole number it means one right so i could divide one by two which is 0 0.5 so if i this treat this as a center value right treat this as the the center value so the idea is always treat this value in the center and try to see what is 0.5 on the left and what is 0.5 on the right is it okay so that should give you the lower bound and upper bound right so let me use a simple nomenclature first which is saying lower bound will be i'll take away 0.5 so it'll be 71.5 and the upper bound will be, I'll add 0.5 to this, 72.5. Is it okay? So just add and subtract 0.5. Now once you do that, you do have a doubt in your mind, which is 72.5 rounds to 73, right? Not uh, 72. You are right. So basically, this should have been uh, 72.4999 like this is it okay so in our case when we talk about lower and upper bound we are saying it's kind of midway you have to always add the same value plus minus the same value right so don't get into these intricacies of rounding to check your answer but it's kind of important to understand that it is midway between two points so midway between upper and lower bound right so always treat this number as midway 
right? So that should be the criteria. Well, that's one way of looking into it. The other way is we could write this as, as this bracket notation kind of, right? So we could write the same thing as, as you could see, we include 71.5, is it okay? And we are actually saying 72.49999, not really 72.5. And so we put this open bracket. So open bracket means not including 0.5, but it's very, very close. Okay, so the idea is that it's very close, but in our calculations, we are always using this value. So it is important, right? So you don't have to be that accurate. This will work for you. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, the inequality is that the mass, let me write mass as M, was greater than or equal to 71.5 kg, right? And is less than 72.5 kg. Is it okay? So that is the third way of writing the same thing, correct? So that is how you could write upper and lower bounds for the given value. Is it okay? Let's now continue and practice. You can actually pause the video now, answer the rest of the questions, and check your answer, right? So when we are saying 540 miles nearest 10, so what should you add and subtract? We should do plus and minus what? Half of 10. Do you understand? Half of 10, which is 5. So we are going to add and subtract 5 to 540 to get lower and upper bound. So as you do that, you get the lower bound of this as. If you take away 5, it becomes 535. Is it okay? And the upper bound will be adding 5 to it, 545 miles. Is it okay? In any of these nomenclatures, you could always write this as you are including 535 miles, but you are excluding 545. That's kind of a limit to, to your question. Is that okay? Or in inequality terms, you can say the length is greater than or equal to 535, but it's less than 545, right? Units are miles. Is that okay? Miles. Okay. So that is how you can do such question, right? Now let's get into decimal places. Time is 10.2 seconds. That is one decimal place here, right? Now one decimal means one tenth, right? So you do half of one tenth. What you have to do here is add and subtract half of one tenth. Do you understand? Half of one tenth, right? So that is to say, half of one tenth that means one over 20 right so if you do one over 20 what do you get let me do it one divided by 20 well this this is what it is so it is 0 0.05 is it okay so that is half of so you have to add and separate 0 0.05 to 10.2 to get your value is it okay so you can write your answer in any of your notations. So it could be, let me write in this notation. So when you take away 0 0.05, it becomes 10.15, is it okay? And if you add, then it becomes 10.25, which should not be included. It's kind of recurring, do you understand the concept? But whenever you calculate the values in any word problems, which we're going to do, in that case, you have to take lower bound as 10.15, upper bound as 10.25, okay? Instead of writing recurring, perfect. This should work for calculation purposes. Is that okay? You would always write it as an inequality also. Now let's do the next one, or should I keep it for you? So it says, velocity of 3.45 meters per second, three significant places. In this case, one, two, three. So that becomes 100, right? So if I do half of 100, so we do plus minus half of 100, right? So that means one over 200. So that means one more decimal place, 0 
zero five. Does it make sense to you, right? Okay. So, so now let me rewrite this with its upper and lower bounds. So we could say velocity. Let's say v for velocity is there. Okay. So always you've seen this is included. That is not included. So the lower value is taking away 0 0.05 will make it 3.445 and adding 0.5 to the right will be 3.455 and of course the velocity units will be meters per second. Is it okay? So that is how you can find the lower bound and upper bound. So this is a very important video. We will further use these concepts to calculate some values in our application questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.